Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the second half of September of 2021 spiritual guidance reading. For this reading, I've been guided to the Gilded Tarot deck, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So, dear Lord, spirit guides, and angels, please bless whichever Taurus I am reading for. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless whichever Taurus needs this information most with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of September of 2021. Okay, so some of you Tauruses may be connecting with uh, a feminine air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This could be mother, sister, cousin, boss, whoever uh, this air sign represents to you. This could also be a Taurus who is carrying the Queen of Swords energies, able to kind of uh, set goals and meet goals and fairly and justly kind of cut away from who and or what isn't a part of the journey you are trying to manifest. Now, in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we have the High Priestess. She's been showing up a lot in many personal readings. In this particular reading for Taurus, we have her in the thoughts position. So you may be thinking about a mother figure, grandmother figure, but know that you're going to have the strength via your thoughts in the second half of September of 2021 Taurus to take what you are creating in your mind and become it, become, make it become a reality. All right. So with the high priestess energy, this is I'm going to set goals and meet goals in a very balanced way. I'm going to uh, put time and effort day to day into manifesting what I am creating. I'm going to make sure I create a new journey um, in the right way. So there's a lot of reflection here. Again, maybe about a mother figure, grandmother figure, and or someone who has air in her chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Now, in the relationship sector, we do have the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is maybe a, a fear of a three-party situation. Therefore, you're waiting in the thoughts position to figure out if there's some form of secret being kept. Uh, but for most of you, I feel like uh, throughout the second half of September of 2021, if you continue to set and make goals and slowly but surely uh, create something from your thoughts into this physical world, now's the time. Spirit is helping the collective uh, to give birth to a path uh, that is solid because uh, what you do will inspire others. And that's what we're all supposed to be doing is inspiring and lifting each other up by recognizing our soul's purpose. So for some Tauruses, you may be connecting with other people here in the relationship sector of the circle spread, and you're very clear, logical, organized, and disciplined about what it is you want to manifest. Uh, there's also, you know, like the Libra energy I'm feeling with this Queen of Swords here, she's very balanced, right? She slowly but surely is putting together something that she wants to manifest. And for those who've been doing this already in the first half of September, by the second half of September, you may be connecting with someone whereby you get to celebrate your hard work. Beautiful, Taurus. So in the foundation, right, in the circle spread. This is the creative aspects position of the circle spread. Some of you, uh, Tauruses, you may be connecting with someone who has Virgo in their chart, but I'm more feeling that as a major arcana spirit is stepping in to kind of help you uh, throughout the second half of September of 2021 to kind of shine your light on different paths you've walked, different paths in front of you, and eventually finding clarity about what it is you want to create at this time recognizing now i'm getting nine days nine days maybe you're on the 22nd for some of you whatever you're creating you're eventually going to be recognizing that people are celebrating you because you took your time you slowed down you became clear with yourself about what it is you want to celebrate in connection to others so if you're connecting with people this is a great time to do it it's a very successful time it's just about going slowly and creating the direction you want it's like i know what i've learned you know how people used to or have said i wish i knew now what i knew then well this is a rebirth for the collective and now we can take what we've learned and either repeat unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles, or create a direction that is our best factor thus far. So in the actions position of the circle spread, we've got the four of wands. 
Beautiful. Taurus, they're saying you can take action to communicate with family and friends. And eventually there's going to be a celebration here after some time of reflection, closer maybe to the end of September of 2021, which ironically is around uh, the Mercury retrograde. I, I want to say it was the 27th. I'm going to have to confirm later. But in the emotional aspects position, we've got this major arcana, the magician. Okay, so... Aries just had that in their actions position. You guys are realizing uh, maybe by the 1st of October with this magician energy that you are manifesting a reason to celebrate with others because of the action steps you have slowly but surely taken. And now there's a reason to celebrate with others that which you have manifested. So it's almost like by the maybe the first week of October as well, uh, because the energies ebb and flow for each uh, person. There's a realization in the emotional aspects position that I have indeed manifested. This is awesome. Look, you've got one, two, three major arcanas, a new path, manifesting the new path, and eventually discovering the journey that you want to celebrate with others. Some of you may be fearing a secret here regarding a Virgo energy who you feel cannot be trusted. Sometimes the magician is someone who is uh, kind of playing tricks, right? Manipulating a situation. I'm not feeling that too much, but maybe it is for a few of you. Now in the subconscious position, we have this king of cups energies. So we have someone here, I think, who maybe you're connecting in the second half or you already have with someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The king of wands could be a father figure, a grandfather figure, someone who is emotionally balanced, someone who's been there, done that, and now can observe a situation with energies of calm. Some of you may be connecting with a water sign and all of a sudden here by maybe the last couple weeks for some of September, uh, you feel this really good energy and celebrate a connection here. And then you're kind of really looking at, do I want to manifest? Uh, a reason to celebrate in the area of home and family with the four of wands. Now, in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the knight of swords. Okay, so you may be thinking about someone who's in their 20s, late teens, maybe early 30s. And they're kind of in the thoughts position should this have been a Celtic spread. But day-to-day, -day, um, someone here is wanting to go into the direction of another and get to the truth. Or you're very excited to share some communication here. Some of you may be wanting to communicate with a queen of swords, but you're unsure because of a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Wow. So in the inner strengths position, we've got another major arcana. Big time for you, Tauruses. Okay, so this is a karmic deal here. What are you wishing to manifest and celebrate? Slow down, right? Sometimes the Knight of Swords moves too quickly with some form of truth here. Give something to time to slowly manifest. Give yourself time to decide on if you want to manifest this next direction for yourself or not. For those of you who are waiting for some form of answer, be patient. For as you are patient, you have this Wheel of Fortune in your inner strengths position. Slowly but surely, the Wheel of fortunes is, Fortune is going to turn in your favor. And there's going to be a reason to celebrate with another or others about the action steps you have taken. And the fact that you laid something down and took your time to think about it. Oh, my. So in a three-card summary to my left, we have two major arcanas first. Where's that third card? And a heartache energy. Okay. We've got the devil, we've got the world, and the three of swords over here to my left for further clarification for some Tauruses. The devil energy can be an unhealthy connection, circumstance, situation, substance, addiction, addiction to a person, place, circumstance, situation. Uh, someone may be looking at another because of the money that they have. You know, there could be uh, within you a traditional and solid foundation that you're manifesting over here for yourself. Yeah, and along comes some form of attention and recognition. Somebody sees uh, that you inspire others via something here that really you're going to get a lot of attention and recognition here in the second half of September uh, for this Taurus. Uh, now, you may be connecting again with another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. We've got Virgo energy here. 
spirit saying, you know, if someone comes towards you with the four of pentacles energies, uh, they may be just kind of holding tight to their emotions because they're not sure either. Oh, and then I saw something tied to the past. I'm feeling around the 27th of September in that arena. People are going to be reuniting with people tied to their past because it helps for uh, certain chapters to close. Yeah, see, a lot of the Tauruses in the second half of September are going to see that someone's coming in very quickly, communicating, and boom, they're already on their way out. Uh, there's a realization for this Taurus that something indeed has gone full circle, and now Spirit's helping you to step into the chapter of a new beginning. What did I say before? Nine. 12, 22nd. I was getting the 22nd, and now I'm seeing the 21st here. Someone's going to come back towards you. And Spirit's saying, slow down. Maybe someone has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Continue to apply your imagination. Know that your hard work and effort is what's going to lead you into the path where the wheel of fortune turns in your favor. And some of you, yeah, maybe a, another earth sign comes towards you and you're hoping this is a long-term commitment. Uh, for some of you, there is an offer coming in in the area of money that you have manifested. So if it's in the romantic realm, uh, spirit saying watch for the messages. The page of wands energies towards is just small communication. It may not grow and prosper, right? There's passionate communication with the page of wands and the lovers card here. But right behind that, we have confusion and the inability to sleep at night, right? With the knight of swords. And that's why spirit saying give something some time. If you are indecisive, listen to your intuition about your truth. Speak the truth. Do you want a long-term commitment with me or not? And if that's the case, then you, the truth has set you free, right? If it isn't the right one, you can now move into the direction of the right one. Yeah, see someone for sure, they're, they're saying there's going to be heartache tied to another fire, uh, I'm sorry, earth sign with the King of Pentacles energies or uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Yeah, there's indecision about how to act, what action steps to take as you really look at what you're hoping will move forward. But then there's just someone cold closed off and leave you waiting. So Spirit's saying instead, focus on what you are creating for yourself. New chapters are beginning in the lives of the collective and the wheel of fortune is on your side. Should you manifest uh, joyful new directions with an open heart for yourself, so too will you come into connection with someone that you can celebrate maybe a better foundation with. It would be that you're going from one boss to a different person, however that applies uh, to you. Yeah. Go into the direction of happiness and joy here. Take your time to think things through, to do things right, and then take action when you realize that you have manifested something good here. You can then lay down the weight of what was. Look at this. Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups and move into the direction of a new love. I think many will be showing up here either at the end of September or in the first half of October. So should these messages have resonated for you, that's just Spirit trying to tell you that they've got more information. If you are interested, you can write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the summer special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very, very much to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. To those of you who have continued to donate to keep my channel up and running, thank you very much. Thank you for your month-to-month -month readings and following up those readings with an email, letting me know exactly how Spirit helped to guide you through these messages to a higher, better path of peace, joy, and happiness. Take care, and God bless.